Hey, Landa. Can you hear me? I can't hear anything. No. Oh, you can't now? Oh, now you can hear you. Now you can hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, Babanda. Oh, good. Hey. Oh, good. hey. oh, no, my voice is echoing. Oh, no, my voice is echoing. Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. I might have to Hold log on. in. I might have to log in. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Okay, I'm gonna log in. Hey guys. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I hear you, but I don't see you. There we go. There we go. Oh, now I see you. Dang it, my voice Dang keeps it, echoing back. My voice back. keeps echoing back. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Well, you guys can hear me okay? You can hear me okay? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I guess let's we'll have to well, deal with my voice echoing. Deal with my voice echoing. <laughs> okay. And okay. And see, is everybody ready? Is everybody let's ready? Let's here. We've got Julie. We've got, we've got Julie, mom. We've got mom. Liz. Liz. Welcome, everybody. Welcome everybody. It sounds like everyone's already I muted, so that's good. Muted, so that's um, good. Liz, you can go ahead and mute Liz, yourself you again. Sorry. Again, sorry. <laughs> this is so weird. I wonder when. Oh, it stopped. Oh, that helped. Okay, now I'm not echoing. Perfect. So it must have been something on your end. Um, maybe the speaker coming through was echoing me out. Um, so good. Welcome, everybody. We're going to get started here because it is eight o'clock in the Pacific West. So wherever you're at, whatever time it is, welcome. Good morning. Um, if you have any blocks that you might need, feel free to grab those. We probably don't need them, though. Um, let's see. Just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, you guys can see okay, hear okay, thumbs up. Okay, okay cool. <laughs> All right, so everyone's got their mat. Welcome, it's such a beautiful day out here, it's so peaceful. I'm actually the only person out here, so you can see this beautiful view. So I hope you can feel that. It's a little chilly, nice springtime air. Um, and if you haven't already, please mute yourself. Um, I'm on my phone, so I actually can't do that for you. So everyone take a moment just to look at your, whatever device you're on and just make sure you're muted. And I'm gonna look up throughout the class just to make sure everyone's doing okay. Make sure anyone, if you have any questions, you can also leave it in the chat box. All right. Hope everyone's feeling great today. So let's start out seated. We're gonna tune in. I always like to take a moment to tune in. So bring your hand to your heart and just take a moment to breathe here. Lengthening your inhales and your exhales. Fill your belly up with pure prana. And exhale through your mouth, letting it out with a sigh. Good, just 
monitoring, noticing your breath. Feel your chest rise on your inhale and feel your whole body relaxing and loosening on your exhale. Good. Practice just emptying out completely on your exhale by squeezing the navel in towards the spine. And then filling your lungs all the way up. See if you can sip in extra air at the top. Just breathing. Letting everything return back to simplicity as you let go any heavy feelings, any anxiety, stress, tension, release it on your exhale. Good. Go ahead and just bring your hands, palms facing down or palms facing up, with lightly touching your thumb to your pointer finger. And just continue to breathe. If you're feeling any tension in your shoulders, just take a moment to roll your shoulders up to the ears and around and back. Just do that a few times, maybe reversing the direction as well. And then rolling your neck, maybe little half circles from the right shoulder to the left shoulder or full circles if you'd rather just get everything and reverse directions. Good, coming back to the center. Feel your tailbone on the ground and just take a moment to notice the earth supporting you. And then even if you're inside, feel what it feels like to be in the sun, that beautiful warmth, kissing your skin. Feel that energy above you from the sun. It's such a powerful energy. And we're gonna tune in to the sun by just feeling that sunshine flowing in like a liquid golden light down your spine all the way to the base and then let that energy continue to flow down to the center of the earth so we're connecting above and below to the galactic center above the sun to the earth below and letting your heart be that connection so continuing to just breathe, deep inhales and powerful exhales. <sighs> When's the last time you breathed? <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and mute yourself. Oh, it's just a mute. Just continue to focus on just your breath, just for right now. Let everything else go. Feel your connection to the earth and to the sun, to all the elements. Start to pay attention to your senses in your body, like starting with your sense of touch. Notice how your skin feels. Notice your clothing against your skin, the textures. Notice the quality of the air around you. And if you are outside, notice the feeling of a cool breeze or the touch of the sun. Shifting to your sense of hearing, just start to listen to all the sounds around you, natural, and human-made. 
Just tuning into that sense, see what you can notice. Good. Shift to your sense of smell, taking a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. <sighs> Just smell. And perhaps you're not able to smell anything. That's okay too. Just bring your awareness to that sense and then move to your sense of taste. Just bringing your awareness to your tongue. Notice if it feels wet or dry, whether you feel thirsty or not. Maybe you can taste something very subtly. Maybe you just ate something. And just notice. And now bringing your awareness to your inner vision or your sight. So even though your eyes are closed, just imagine that you have a giant screen in front of you. And you can still see maybe some light coming through your eyelids, even though your eyes are closed. And just start to notice if you can see any colors or focus on how you would like to create your day. Maybe just see yourself having the perfect day in this screen, on the screen in front of you. So using your imagination, what is it you would like, how is it you'd like your day to go? And picture yourself doing those things that you'd prefer to do, feeling the way you'd like to feel. And in this moment, just breathe in peace. And just the simple joy of breathing and being alive, just allowing yourself to simply be. Good. Drop into that vibration of just being, the bliss of that. Good. And create yourself a little mantra for your day. So some kind of an intention just like we were visualizing it on our screen in front of our eyes, you can also create yourself a mantra for that. So for instance, if you're calling in more joy today, maybe you've been stressing out a lot, your, your mantra would be, I am joyful. So just create yourself a little mantra that you can say to yourself throughout your day. And go ahead and say it to yourself maybe three to seven times. Good, and let's go ahead and rub our hands together, creating some fire, adding some light to our intention or some energy, chi energy. Really create some heat here. So rubbing those hands together in front of your heart and then pressing your hands together in prayer pose. Press your thumbs into your chest and take a nice deep breath in as you bow your head inward. And now exhale out of your mouth. Good, let's do that two more times. Inhale a little deeper this time. Exhale. One more giant breath in. Take the biggest breath you can. And let it out. Good. And now bringing your fingertips about three to four inches apart. So your hands are just, like you're holding a ball of energy in between your hands. You might even be able to feel the energy from rubbing your hands together. So just pay attention. Notice for a moment, feel that energy. And we're gonna use the sound OM to also amplify our intentions today. So OM is the sound of creation. It's the vibration that brings thought into form. It's the, actually the force of creation itself. So when we chant OM, we're aligning with our highest vision. 
So here we go. Let's take a deep breath in to begin. Deep breath in through the nose. Om. Good. Feel the vibration of your Om cleaning out your cells, rippling out into the room that you're in, the space around you, all aligning with this creative force. And then go ahead and lift your arms up to the sky like you're releasing that intention into the universe. Create some length in your spine here. And then as you exhale, drop your hands to the ground like you're planting that seed into the earth. And just start to invite your forehead down towards the ground. That's okay if you can't quite bring your forehead all the way down. But just find your way towards the earth. Feel yourself rooting into the earth. And just start to let go any problems, anything that you see that might come in the way of your intention today. Anything that might keep you from being totally present in this moment, just send that energy down into the earth. Just let it be recycled. Good. Let's go ahead and walk our fingertips over to the right knee until your torso is lined up with your right knee. You can either stay here and just press down um, you're going to feel this stretch in your left hip. So keep your left hip planted. And if you want, if you're a little more flexible, you can bring yourself all the way down, decompress over that right knee, and maybe even roll to your right. Let that left side open up. Let your chest sort of roll up towards the sky a little bit. And that's if you're feeling a little more flexible. Maybe you can go a little deeper into this. Keep that left hip planted as much as you can. If it keeps popping up, just maybe walk your fingertips back a little bit so you can keep that nice rooted seat. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and walk to the other side. Walk your fingertips to the other side. Let your torso line up with your left knee and then drop down. Either just press down here. That might be enough for some of you. Or you can drop all the way down, bring your forehead to the knee, maybe even bring your right hand on top of the left hand and roll your chest up a little bit. Deep breath in. Good, just breathing into this. Let's walk the hands back to the front. See if you can reach a little further this time. You might feel your back pop. Get a nice stretch here. And then walk your hands back up to center. Let's go ahead and just lean back on our hands. Bring your feet in front of you on the ground. And then lift your hips off the ground. You might remember doing this as a kid. Crab walk. This feels really good for your wrists, your chest, your neck. Let your head fall back behind you if you can. If you can't do that, that's okay. Baby steps. Yoga is all about just meeting yourself where you're at. Good. Hold this if you can. If you need to bring your hips down, bring your hips down. Keep breathing deeply. Feel your throat, your thyroid opening up. And let's go ahead and release the hips down. Switch legs. So whichever leg you had on top before, just bring the opposite leg on top and your cross-legged sit and lift your arms up overhead and surrender forward. So we're just gonna stretch the other side. You can rock gently from your left hip to your right hip if you're feeling a little tight. I just got a couple pops in my back. Ah, oh, it feels so good. So go ahead and just surrender forward. Take three breaths here. Cleansing breaths. Maybe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Or tap into your ujjayi breath, your ocean breath. Good. 
usually when we become panicked or really stressed out, that, that means our, we're probably not breathing very deeply. So this is going to really help just to continue to practice bringing your awareness to your breath. Let's walk our hands over to the right knee, just like we did on the other side. Stretching down or just pressing into the earth. So we're just really bringing fresh oxygen into the body, breathing in light, photonic light. Allowing ourselves to be more grounded, relaxed, able to think clearly and be that eye of the storm. Good, let's walk our fingertips over to the other side. Deep breath in, maybe release, bring your forehead down. You might notice one side is easier than the other side. That's okay. Again, we're just going to the edge, going to, to your own edge, finding that spot where you can feel the stretch. Come back to the center, see if you can stretch a little further and walk your hands back up. This time, straighten your legs in front of you and shake out your legs. Maybe pat your legs if, you're, if you've got some tension there. We're gonna just start to get some blood moving in the legs. Point the toes, flex the toes, maybe roll your ankles. And if you roll your ankles, circle the other direction too. Leaning back on your hands, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Point your toes and lift your hips up to the sky. If that's a little too intense, you can keep your hips on the ground and just lean back. So find what feels good for you. Just breathe. Let your neck open up. Good, go ahead and release your hips down. Bring your heels together, the soles of your feet together. So you've got sort of a butterfly shape in your knees and you're just going to start to flutter your knees tapping into the energy of transformation the butterfly can't become a butterfly until first this caterpillar which has no idea he's becoming something completely different he just is completely fueled by instinct and we all have this mechanism within us when we go through changes, we can tap into this inner navigational system, our heart. So go ahead and you can rock from side to side. You can just continue to flutter your knees if that's feeling really good. This is just a nice little hip opener, especially if you've been sitting a lot or driving. Beautiful. Good, and let's go ahead and just grip your ankles. Make sure your spine is totally elongated and then roll your shoulders back as you inhale. Let your chest come forward. Your chin stays tucked and neutral. And then on your exhale, you're gonna arch your spine, roll your shoulders forward, hollow out your belly. Good, and then inhale, pull your shoulders back. So we're just gonna flow with the, the breath, open your chest and then arch your spine. Inhale forward, exhale back. So it's sort of like cat-cow pose, arching and stretching the spine. I like doing it seated because it isolates the spine a little more. And we're going to do both in a second here, but first this. Good. Just move with your breath. Slow it down if you want. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and come on to our hands and knees for tabletop pose. Got all this dust that comes on here. 
All right, hands under the shoulders, knees about hips distance apart. And let's just start to cat cow. So we were just doing seated cat cow. Now we're going to get a little deeper into the spine. So inhale, lifting your gaze, lift your tailbone, exhale, arch your spine, squeeze and hollow in the belly. And just moving like a wave up and down with your breath. Good. Good. Continue your cat cows. If you want to bring your knees a little bit wider, walk your hands a little more forward. You can also just circle your hips. It just creates a little more motion in the spine if you want to take it to that next step. Or if you're feeling a little more limited in your movements, you can just continue to do cat-cow. Otherwise, find what feels good. Keep rolling those hips. And then go ahead and if you haven't already, bring your knees almost as wide as your mat if you can, touching your toes behind you. And we're just gonna go ahead and sit back into a child's pose, bring your forehead down, and then looking between your hands, rolling forward and coming into cobra. So cobra, hands are next to your chest, elbows squeezed into your body, squeeze your glutes and your thighs. So that's just setting you up for a good cobra. And you, you don't have to come up very high unless you want to, but you're gonna really feel that in your lower back. And then from here, keeping your knees wide, come back into child's pose. And we're just going to move from cobra into child's pose. So I would say just pick exhaling in, into child's pose and then inhaling for cobra. Feel your heart brightening as you inhale and lift your chest into cobra. Good. I'm just really feeling that spine. Take your time if you need to. Let it be a super slow motion if you've got to take it easy. Good. Good, a little more, 10 more seconds. Oh, and if you're pregnant, um, just skip the cobra part. I forgot to mention that. So hopefully you already picked that up, Liz. <laughs> Um, do you just want to avoid being on your belly if possible? That's what I know about prenatal yoga. So if you are pregnant, I would just stay in a child's pose and just breathe here. Everyone come back up to your hands and knees with your knees wide. We're going to lift the right arm up to the sky. Just really open up the chest here. Breathe. Let your breath open your shoulder. Good, let's go ahead and slide that right arm underneath the left arm, threading the needle and bring your right ear to the ground. And just breathe here, let your shoulder decompress. You can either reach that left arm to the top of the mat or reach it up and tuck it into your right hip. That's just gonna give you a little more of a shoulder stretch. Ah, and breathe. Ah. Exhale loudly, letting go any stress from the week. Ah. Maybe with a deep sigh, you can 
say ha, that's the, a beautiful sound to release intense energy like anger or frustration hopelessness even, and releasing more anxiety, depression, stagnation, that's blowing out like the wind. Good, let's go ahead and press back up to switch sides, lift your left arm up to the sky. Really twist into your spine here, open your chest. Reach behind you if you can. Take a deep breath in and then go ahead and slide that left arm underneath your right. Rest your left ear on the ground and you can either reach that right hand through towards the top of your mat or lift that right arm up to the sky and then tuck it into your left hip. It's just more of a shoulder twist. And if you're really flexible, you can even reach that right arm behind you. Good, a couple more breaths here. Surrender into each pose. Feel your body just decompressing. Good, go ahead and press back up. Hands are under the shoulders. Bring your knees back to hips distance apart. So knees are just stacked underneath your hips. And we're just gonna do a little um, brain balancing here. Um, this is also, it really helps to cross the meridians. A lot of us um, aren't running at our full energy because our meridian, our energy meridians aren't connecting. So we're gonna do that today. I think that's really important with every, all the stress going on, staying grounded, staying connected. So let's lift your right hand in front of you, straight forward, like you're drawing a straight line in front of you, and then press your left heel back behind you, really flexing that heel. And just take a moment here to breathe into your belly. You can gaze at a point on the ground or in front of you. And just let yourself be this line, like a rubber band being pulled in two different directions. Just feel your spine elongating. Activate your belly, your core, by squeezing your navel in on your exhale. And really fill the belly with air on your inhale. Let your belly expand like a balloon. Good, let's go ahead and drop that right hand down, drop the left knee and we're gonna switch sides. So left hand forward, gaze at the ground or in front of you and press your right heel back. Let yourself just be a straight line of energy like a rubber band being pulled apart. Good. Perfect. Now we're just gonna go ahead and drop the leg, drop the hand and switch sides and we're gonna move with the breath now. So inhale, lift the hand and the leg. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale to the other side, drop it down. If you wanna add a little squeeze, like bring your elbow and knee together on the exhale, feel free to do that. That's a little more core activating. So inhale as you reach, exhale as you squeeze it in, drop it down. And take it slow if you need to slow it down. Just have a little bit more of a slow, deep breath. Good. Good, let's do this for 20 more seconds. Do your best. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's tuck those toes, press into your hands, 
lift your hips for downward facing dog. And just start to pedal your feet. Check in with your body here. Notice how you're feeling. I always like to scan from head to toe, just noticing if there's anything tight. This helps me know what I need to work on, what I might need to modify. Just a quick little check-in. Notice how you're feeling. Good. Go ahead and take a walk to the front of your mat, or you can step or hop, lifting halfway up on your inhale, flat back, gazing forward, exhale, forward fold. Just let your whole upper body relax over your legs. If you need to bend your knees, keep a little slack there with bent knees. And just give yourself a few little head shakes, nodding yes and no. I'm just gonna remove my coat, it's getting nice and warm out here. So beautiful. So forward fold, nodding yes and no, shake out your neck. Release any tension there in your shoulders. Maybe grab your elbows and sway. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring our hands up like an airplane about halfway up. And then you're gonna reach back to grab your hands and then pull your knuckles up. And then go ahead and come back into forward fold. Release your head. So you have your hands clasped behind you. If you can't do this, that's okay. Maybe even just grab your elbows behind your back or your arms, and that's okay too. Um, hopefully you can clasp your hands. Eventually, that would be the goal. Just breathe. Maybe start to bring your nose towards the right side of your knee. And then slowly make your way to the other side. Just starting to open up that back a little bit. Good, go ahead and release your arms down. And then we're gonna reset the spine by sweeping the hands up the legs. Stack your spine notch by notch, take your time. Let your hands rise up over your head, reaching to the sky. And then as you exhale, bring your hands together, bring it into your heart center. And just take one or two breaths here, feeling expansive. Feeling maybe a little more open, more present than you started. Beautiful. Return to mountain pose, Tadasana. Palms facing forward as you stand strong with your feet about hips distance apart or toes together, heels apart. And just feel your connection to the earth. If you do have the luxury of being outside, you can even just stand directly on the earth right now. Our next exercise can be either on your mat or on the ground. I'm gonna stand on the earth here just to get a little grounding in. For all those watching, don't, oh, a butterfly. I love that. Just landed on my water bottle and flew away. Ah, oh, spring is here. All right, so standing wherever you want. Either You can either stay on your mat or go onto the ground if you're outside. And you're just standing on the ground in Tadasana. Feel your feet on the ground, maybe rocking onto your toes and then onto your heels. Just finding that perfect balance where you can feel all four corners of your feet on the earth. And just imagine you're growing tree roots deep into the earth. And we're gonna do this really awesome energy exercise. This is called grounding or bridging heaven to earth um, through our bodies. So um, it's an energy exercise and this helps to boost your immunity as well. So let's start out with our left hand. You're gonna reach your left hand up over your head and gaze up at your left hand on your inhale. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, you're just gonna gaze down at your right hand, like you're pushing your right hand down to the earth. 
And then inhale, bring your hands together into your heart. Exhale. We're going to switch sides. So inhale the right hand up. Exhale, look down at your left hand like you're pushing your left hand down. And then inhale back into your heart. Exhale. Good. Continue to move with your breath. Inhale, pressing up the heavens, connecting to the sky. Exhale, look down at the earth. Inhale back to the heart. Exhale. And I'll just leave you with your own pace, your own breath. Just lose yourself in the motion and the breath. Finding your own rhythm. Notice how calming this exercise is as well. We're not in any rush. Good. Beautiful. We're going to do a couple more things that help our energy meridians to align and cross over and connect. So if, you know, just standing wherever you're at, start to bring your hands to your knees kind of like you're marching in place. Let your knees come as high as you want. And then we're gonna cross our hands to touch the opposite knee. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Nice deep breath. This helps our energy meridians to cross over. So I always like to throw in these exercises because they are so powerful. And also because we are all dealing with so much stress right now, a lot of change. I like to just say we're dealing with a lot of change. That feels a lot better than saying everyone's stressed out. Um, but just say, you know, this just really helps to bring our energy back into balance so that we can cope and create our days with positive energy. Good, and power from a place of power really. Good, go ahead and just stand back tall into Tadasana, mountain pose, and just start to tap in front of your heart. Use the, I, I like to use my right hand, just a nice little tap. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good. And then we're gonna tap our kidney meridians, which is right at the little hollows where your clavicle bone is. So just tapping there, deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. So our kidney meridians are great to open up since that's where a lot of times our body holds on to fear in our kidneys, liver, that type of thing. So we're getting that all flushed out. Make sure you drink a lot of water, either during class or after class for sure. Good. All right, so let's go ahead and just stand at the top of your mat now, or if you wanna stay on the ground, that's fine too. And we're gonna just connect with the energy of the sun now. We did a lot of groundwork coming up. And now we're gonna flow a little bit with the solar energy of the day. So just standing tall in mountain pose, continuing to breathe, focusing on your feet rooting into the earth and your connection to the sun. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, reach your arms overhead, and then exhale, bend your knees, come into chair pose. And just take a moment here to balance in your chair. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release into forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift. And exhale, plant your hands into the earth. Step or jump back for plank pose. Hands are under the shoulders. Make sure your hips stay higher. You don't want to sink down like that. You want to be in a nice line. And let's just rock forward and back on our toes. Wake up those toes. Say hello to your feet, 
your arms. If this gets a little too intense for you, you can always drop your knees to the ground. Otherwise, keep your knees up. We're gonna take a deep breath in and then on the exhale, lower down to the earth. And then you're either gonna come up for cobra pose or upward dog. Upward dog, you're gonna lift up onto the tops of your feet. It's a little higher. And if you're pregnant, just skip the part where you're on your stomach and come straight into child's pose or downward dog. So from here, let's tuck the toes, lift into downward dog. You can always use your knees to lift up if you need to as you build the strength. Good, lift your right leg up to the sky and step your right leg through your hands. Plant your heel down, make sure your heel is underneath your knee. Take a couple of extra seconds to check that. That's really important. It's gonna mean whether you feel balanced or not and protect your knee. And then let's go ahead and drop the back heel down so your back heel is lined up with your front heel and the, toes are the back toes are pointing at a 45 degree angle. Lift up, warrior one. Really just feel the power here in this pose. Let your tailbone draw down, relax your shoulders, tuck your chin. Holding these poses is actually a, a lot more challenging than flowing fast. So I want you to really feel each pose. So standing strong in your warrior. We're warriors, not warriors. I always love saying that, it's so true. We have the choice whether we can just choose to be empowered and strong or just worry and waste our energy and actually create what we're afraid of by just worrying about it. So let's bring our right hand forward, pull the left arm back for warrior two. Just an easy little transition there. Bend into your right knee. Make sure your knee doesn't track over your toes. So if you need to walk that heel out a little further, just take a moment to play around with your alignment here. I always like to kind of rock forward and back here, finding perfect balance in the center. You can bring your hands to your hips. Make sure your hips are lined up with your chest. Since that back hip comes out, gaze over your fingertips. Good, let's inhale, lift the arms, straighten the leg, and then exhale back into warrior two. So we're just gonna float up and down with our arms, stretching the lungs, creating power in the lungs, power in the breath. So inhale deeply, exhale all the way out. Take your time to breathe at your full capacity both ways on the inhale and the exhale, draw everything out. Take your time, really move with your own breath. Beautiful, we get this opportunity to breathe, which really strengthens our ability, our lung capacity and our immune systems. And it's also very detoxifying for all that internal stuff. The blood gets cleansed when we breathe deeper. There's more oxygen in the blood. We have more energy. So this is very powerful, even if it just seems very simple. It's always the simple things in yoga that feel so good. Good, let's flip the right palm up, lift up and back. This is called reverse warrior. And just let yourself lean into that right side body. If you want, you can bring your left hand to your heart. Good, go ahead and come back up, bring your right hand to your heart, lift your left arm up to the sky and start to lean into your upper thigh if that's accessible for you. Otherwise, you can just float. That's fine, too. Plug your heart into the universe. Infinite possibilities. You have access to that. We all have access to that. So how can you focus on that for yourself today? How can you exceed any 
limitations or seeming limitations that you might be facing. Good, go ahead and reach your right hand down to the earth, planting your heart into the mother earth here, Pachamama. And then drop your left hand down, turn your toes forward. If you need to drop your knee at this point, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep your knee lifted. If, if you're feeling okay, you're feeling strong, keep your knee lifted. And you're just gonna rock forward and back here as you wake up your thighs, your hip flexors. Good, press into your left hand, lift up with your right hand. Again, if you need to drop that knee, take it easy on yourself. Nice little spinal twist here. Good, drop the right hand down, drop the knee now. If you haven't already, drop your knee. And we're just gonna lean back, walk your hands towards your shoulders, let the toes pop up off the mat. This is called half monkey pose. It's a nice little lunge. We're getting into the hamstrings a bit. So just take a moment to breathe into those hamstrings. Maybe start to bring the nose towards the knee. Nice deep breaths. Good, let's rock the foot forward, press that into the ground, and then lift up for a deeper lunge. Arms to the sky. Good, Come, bring your hands into cactus arms, and we're just gonna start to twist to the left, and then twist to the right. Take your time. If you're feeling a little off balance, keep your gaze at the center. Good. If you want to also just try lifting up and then sweeping your right arm back, kind of helicoptering from side to side. I also like that one too. If you're really liking the cactus arms, if that one feels more gentle, keep with the cactus arms. Good. This one also is a great connector from the left and the right side of the brain. So let's bring the right hand or both hands down. Let's walk the foot to the outside of the mat and just take a moment to get into those hips, roll in a circle or rock from side to side. If you have a block, you can use a block to elevate your hands if you need that. Or if you're feeling pretty flexible, you can drop down onto your elbows here, just to go a little deeper into the stretch. Good, breathe deeply here. This is where we hold old emotional energy. And so we can start to release that through our breath and through the stretching, getting into that fascia tissue, myofascia tissue, the connective tissue. So blowing out your air like the wind, maybe making a ha sound. <sighs> Let go. Let go, especially any traumatic or grief emotions. As we embrace change, instead of fear or resist change, this is the hips are the, what we need to work on if we're having any resistance. That's also related to our root chakra. Good, go ahead and press back up. Bring your foot back to the center of the mat. Press your hands into the earth, tuck your back toe, lift your knee up for lunge and step your leg back. Either lifting your leg back into the sky for three-legged dog, or just coming into downward facing dog. You can take this moment to come into child's pose or chaturanga. So chaturanga is where you go through your flow, plank into upward dog or cobra, back to downward dog. It's also known as a vinyasa flow. I like to just use the traditional term chaturanga. So wherever you're at, this is Yogi's choice. You can continue to maybe give yourself a few extra Chaturanga Dandasanas or hang out in child's pose if you need a little break. 
or just hang out in downward facing dog. Good, take three more breaths here. <sighs> Let the breath cleanse. <sighs> Beautiful. Go ahead and walk, jump or step to the top of the mat. Lift halfway up, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, surrender. <sighs> inhale, open your arms to the sky. And exhale into the heart. Beautiful. Feel your infinite potential and your infinite worth with the pulsating of your heartbeat. Good. Come into mountain pose. And just feel the wind, maybe a cool breeze washing over you, the touch of the sun. All these little sensations of being alive, what are you noticing? Just start to tune into that. All the little pleasures of being alive. It's the simple things, it's the little things that we can be grateful for. Good. Just feel that balance, feel that. Any note, just notice any shifts in your body. And we're gonna do a little balancing pose now. So I'm gonna give you guys an option. You can either do, if you're familiar with tree pose, you probably already know how to get into it on your own. So feel free to do tree pose, or if you'd like to try um, standing eagle pose, it's a really nice balancing pose as well. They're both very similar. So um, go ahead and take whichever option you, you feel like you wanna do today. So I'm just gonna demonstrate really quickly a quick tree pose and I'll just start with the with the right leg so I'm going to bring my left leg up to the top of my leg you're also welcome to keep your foot at the bottom of your leg so you're using your foot as a kickstand if you need it just avoid bringing your heel your foot to the knee you want to avoid that and then you can bring your arms up to the sky if you want and that's tree pose so go ahead and take that if you want. Otherwise, you're gonna just stand on your standing right leg, bring your weight into your right foot, bend your left knee, and you're gonna keep your hands at your heart here for balance. It also helps to gaze at a place on the ground for balance. So you're gonna cross your left leg over the right leg, and you can either kickstand it here if you're not really sure of yourself in this pose, or you can wrap your leg all the way around and start to bend the knee. You can try that out, just practice wrapping the leg. There's a plane flying over, so I'll wait. Good, oops. And then once you feel comfortable there, bring your right hand in front of you and wrap your left hand around the right hand. So this is standing eagle. You can just stay in this pose, or if you wanna go even further in standing eagle, you can bring your elbows to your knee. Good, go ahead and release wherever you're at, shake out your body, this, I call this the chi shake. Just a little dance, like you're brushing off the dust of any old energy. And before we stretch the other side, we're gonna go ahead and go through our flow on the left side. So we'll come back to our balancing pose once we've stretched the other side. So let's stand at the top of the mat, feeling strong, standing tall in your power. If you're feeling a little disempowered from a lot of different things happening in your life, bring that power back, call back your power. Imagine that your solar plexus, it's a chakra right at your rib cage. It's golden yellow. So you can imagine maybe golden yellow light coming back into your solar plexus, feeling empowered. We're gonna lift our arms up overhead, tuning into the energy of the sun like little antennas. And then exhale, bend your knees into chair pose, leaning back. Feel the grounding in your feet. Feel your back extending. 
One more breath in here. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, jump or step back for plank. And go ahead and lower down for chaturanga. Either just stay low to the ground in cobra or upward facing dog. Good, meeting in downward dog. Lift your left leg up to the sky. Step your leg through. And just make sure your heel is under the knee. Drop your back heel. Lift up for warrior one. Hips are forward, tailbone draws down, shoulders are relaxed. Heart is forward and chin is tucked. <sighs> just stand here for a moment and feel the power in your legs, your connection to the earth. Our feet and our legs are so vital for our life to feel connected to the earth. How are your legs and your feet feeling today? Check in. <sighs> Good. Feeling the power of your warrior spirit. Letting go worry. Such a waste of energy. Just let it go. Allow yourself to just focus on your breath. Tapping into your heart, which automatically calms your mind. Good. Bring your left hand forward. Pull your right arm back. Kind of like you're about to bring a bow back to loose an arrow. And then go ahead and just lean into your left knee. Warrior two. Gaze over your left fingertips. Relax your shoulders. You can kind of play tug of war with your hands, pulling forward and then back, just finding that nice center with your torso. If you're feeling like you're still a little off, bring your hands to your hips. Make sure your hips are lined up with your chest so they're facing the in front of you. Good, lift your arms up, straighten your left leg, stretch your lungs, exhale, come back to warrior two. And let's just start to flow with our breath. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. So just relax into it. Find your own rhythm and pace here with your breath. Ten. Five seconds to go. And go ahead and flip your left palm up, reaching up and back. Reverse your warrior. Keep that left knee bent. Good. Go ahead and bring your left hand to your heart. Reach your right arm up to the sky and just float. Good. Extend your left hand down to the ground. Extended side angle pose. If you want to go a little deeper, reach your arm over your ear. Beautiful, drop your right hand down, turn your toes forward. And this is where you can either drop your knee if you need a little break or stay elevated into your lunge. So press into your right hand, lift your left arm up for a little twist. This one is one of my favorite morning stretches because it kind of gets into everything, your spine, your hips, your legs, your thighs. Good, go ahead and drop your left hand down, drop your knee if you haven't already. And we're just gonna let the left toes flip up off the mat. So you're gonna start to walk your hands back. This is called half splits. Oops, I think someone just unmuted. <laughs> and just breathe into that knee. <sighs> Good, go ahead and walk your foot forward. Lift up into lunge. Just really fill your lungs with pure energy. And we're gonna do that same little helicopter from side to side, or you have the option of cactus arms. So bend your elbows and just twist to the left and then to the right. Or you can lift up and sweep your arm back. Good, we're almost there, you guys. You're doing great. 
stay strong, stay connected with your breath. Beautiful, bring your hands down, bring that left foot out to the corner or edge of your mat and just creating a little space to stretch a little deeper into those hips. So you can either just stay here, if that's enough for you, you can have a block if you need to lift a little higher. Sometimes the block can help um, if you're a little tight. If you're flexible, drop down onto your elbows here and breathe deeply into those hips. Everyone just release. This is a place where a lot of resistance gets stored, especially caused by trauma or grief. So sometimes we can get stuff stuck in here from childhood or experiences from long ago that gets stuck in the body. And that's why yoga can help us to release that. We're just bringing that awareness to these areas. So even just breathing and stretching into the hips, we're helping to, or we're helping our bodies to release any unconscious old emotional trauma. Good. Remember breathing in through the nose, maybe sighing out through the mouth with a ha, or blowing out like the wind. Good. Let's go ahead and lift back up. Press your hands into the ground, tuck your back toes, coming back up into a high lunge, and then lift that left leg up into the sky. And from here, actually, if you want, you can also come into downward dog and just jump up and down. That one really helps me to reset my lower body. Or you can chaturanga, you can come into child's pose. This is yogi's choice. So inhale to chaturanga or just surrender into child's pose. Maybe you need to practice surrendering. This is a beautiful time to practice surrender. It is definitely a practice. It is definitely an art. So three more breaths here, wherever you're at. Go ahead and jump, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Lifting halfway up. Exhale, forward fold, surrender. And inhale, tap into infinite possibilities and the power of the sun. Bring your hands together. And just before you bring your hands into your heart here, just press your hands over your head with slightly bent elbows. Feel the balance in the middle as you press your left hand into your right hand and your right hand into your left hand. That perfect merging of the left and the right. Let's pull that balance into the center of our heart. Good. Just take a moment to feel that perfect balance. We just stretched both sides. Now we're gonna end with another balancing pose. So either do tree pose, if you're familiar with tree pose, or standing eagle. So start to bring your weight into your left foot this time by bending your right knee. And then you're gonna cross that leg over, wrapping the legs if you can, or you can just kickstand the foot. And you're still gonna um, practice strengthening that standing leg, even if you have the beginner version. So you can either keep your hands at your heart here the whole time and just maybe practice squatting lower, or you can take it further, bring your left arm out in front of you this time and wrap your right arm around. And again, you can start to bring the elbows towards the knees if that is accessible for you today. Or maybe, maybe just staying up is, is it for you today. That's okay. Honor where you're at. Good, hold it maybe five more seconds. You can always release it whenever you need to. And when you're ready to let it go, just go ahead and shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake off the old energy, dance. 
they say that's why Colombians are so happy because they dance every single day. So when's the last time you danced? Maybe it's time to have that dance party. Good, so let's go ahead and wind down. So we just did a lot of movement with the sun. Now we're gonna flow back down to the earth. So go ahead and just come down, sit down onto your glutes and maybe bring yourself into the middle of your mat and lower down onto your back. Hug your knees to your chest and just rock gently. Give yourself a little spinal massage. We're gonna do some really gentle yin stretching now. So just practice breathing deeply. You've done a beautiful job. Just showing up today is, in my opinion, it's 90% success. Is you just have to show up sometimes. Good, hug your right knee into your chest, straighten your left leg out. And if this is a little intense for you, if you have any sciatica pain in your lower back, you can keep that left foot on the ground with a bent knee. That really eases that for that. And if you are pretty strong here and you can straighten your left leg all the way out, just hover your left foot about two to three inches off the ground and flex your heel as much as you can. We're just gonna practice engaging that leg and then point your toe. Notice how that changes the muscle groups that are flexed. Good, let's just do that a couple times. Flex the heel, point the toes. Flex the heel and point the toes, good. Good, wherever you're at, go ahead and drop that leg now, relax. Notice the contrast of flexing and just relaxing. Let your shoulders melt into the ground. Bring your right palm out to the side, palm facing down. And then go ahead and guide that knee over to the left side for spinal twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. You can let that knee float off the ground. Just the key is to keep that right shoulder on the ground. If it starts to pop up, you're not going to feel the stretch as much. Good, breathe. This is resetting our nervous system. Just let the winds of your breath wash through your body. <sighs> There's actually a nice little cool breeze here this morning out here on the cliff. <laughs> Feels so good. Just letting the wind carry away any worries, any concerns, any fears or doubts about what's happening. Just allowing myself to be that center of the storm. So maybe it won't affect me as much as it would if I were to allow worry and fear to set in. Good. Go ahead and bring your knee back up to the center. Straighten that leg out, maybe shake a little bit before bringing that left knee, hug the left knee into your chest now. You can rock a little bit if you want, maybe roll the knee in a circle. Press your heel up and float that leg off the ground and then point the toe, flex the toe, point the toe and flex the toe, good. Go ahead and release that leg, feel that relaxation. Bring your left palm facing down out to the side. Bring that left knee over to the right as you gaze over the left shoulder, spinal twist on the ground. And as we start to move deeper into the earth and into our final surrender, we can start to learn how to truly relax, which is the only state our body can be in to heal and regenerate and even digest properly. So it's really important that we allow ourselves to relax as much as we can. 
Good, bring your knee back to center. Give yourself one more big hug. And let's let go for Shavasana. Bring your feet wide on the mat, palms facing up. Let your toes roll out to the side. If you wanna do one more little reach over your head, feel free to do that. Maybe just reach the arms like you're stretching in the morning. And then surrender for Shavasana. You're gonna focus on letting go by relaxing every muscle in the body. I'll just walk you through it so you don't have to think about it. So as you relax and melt into the ground, feel a wave of calm washing over you from the top of your head, relaxing your scalp, your forehead, your eyelids, your cheeks, your mouth, your lips. Feel your sinuses relaxing. Let your jaw drop. Feel your throat relaxing. Relax your shoulders. Feel this relaxation spreading through your arms, to your fingertips, the palms of your hands, your chest, your belly. Feel your hips sinking down and relaxing, glutes relaxed, front of the thighs, back of the thighs, kneecaps, Relaxing, loosening. Front of the shins, calf muscles, ankles, tops of your feet, toes, soles of your feet. Relax. And now that you are completely relaxed and at peace, you're ready to surrender to the infinite part of yourself beyond the physical body. We are way more than just our bodies. So allow yourself the gift of surrender and letting go.
Good. Continue to lie still, breathing in the energy of peace, harmony, the force of love, the frequency of love. The earth holds the vibration of love and harmony. And that's why it feels so good to be outside. So any chance you get today or this week to get outside, take your shoes off, walk barefoot, allowing your body to harmonize and recenter to the vibration of peace. So continue to relax as you wiggle your toes, inviting a little more movement back into your body. Feel the energy of the earth rising up from your feet up to the top of your head, helping you to feel grounded, connected. Go ahead and reach your arms overhead, just giving yourself a nice little stretch as you come back, wiggling your fingers, maybe rolling your ankles or your wrists around. Tapping into the energy of the cosmos, the stars, the sun. Also governing inspired action. So sometimes there's a time to be still and relaxed resting, allowing, receiving, and sometimes just following your inspired action when you're connected to your heart is the most powerful acts of kindness you can give to yourself. So go ahead and hug your knees into your chest. Just give yourself a good squeeze, sending love to every muscle, every bone, every cell maybe affirming your mantra to yourself or even just the simple mantra, I love you, I love you. Sending that force through your body. Imagine every cell lighting up with golden energy, releasing anything toxic or that doesn't need to be there. And go ahead and roll onto your right side. Just let yourself be a fetal on the ground, a child supported and cradled by the earth. <sighs> Just breathe. Notice the simplicity of the breath as you lie on your side, breathing in and breathing out. It's easy to receive on your inhale, and it's so easy to let go what you don't need on your exhale. <sighs> and just breathing in the simple joy of being alive, it really is that simple. So just if you start to feel yourself getting carried away with fear, doubt, stress, anything like that, Bring yourself back to the breath. Our breath can help us to come back into balance just by noticing how automatic the breath can be. And with awareness, even more powerful. Can literally detoxify our whole system just by oxygenating our bodies. So go ahead and when you're ready, come back up to a, an upright seated position, keeping your eyes closed if you can, turning inward to yourself. Bring your hands into prayer pose or Anjali Mudra. Feel your thumbs pressing into your heart center and bowing your head towards yourself, honoring yourself, your own wisdom of your heart. And I want you to just visualize a hummingbird sitting at the center of your heart. The hummingbird holds 
the medicine of the heart, the wisdom and the power of our heart center. So as you imagine this hummingbird at the center of your heart, imagine everybody that you know and love with this hummingbird at the center of their heart. The hummingbird also has the power to cross pollinate to all the flowers, spreading that love far and wide. So just remembering the power of your heart, the wisdom of your heart, and also the ability to affect and impact others with your love and your light. So let's breathe together, collectively feel our global community, everyone from all over the world joining us right now with our hands at our heart. Let's use that power of numbers to energize and empower ourselves with love and also send that out into the world since it is so needed right now. So let's take a deep breath in, exhale, release, inhale, let it go. Good. Take the biggest breath you can and let it all the way out. Beautiful. Let's end our class today with one last ohm, ohm, the sound of creation. So here we go, deep breath in. Oh. Beautiful. May you be well, may you be at peace. May you remember that you are pure love. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'd just like to take a moment to bow and honor the divine within you, also within me, by saying namaste and satnam. Thank you so much, you guys. You can go ahead and unmute yourselves. If anybody wants to share anything, I'm just going to leave you guys with this beautiful view back here. How's everyone feeling? Yay. Oh, Carmen. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, I thought it was going to be at nine our time. Oh, you Is did? The same time zone? I think we are. I'm, you know what? That's probably where you got confused because I was sending the nine o'clock for the Utah people. For which people? Utah. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. No, well, you fault. still made it on. That's cool. <laughs> it's, totally, it's totally my fault. I'm just bummed we missed it, like most of it, you know? Aww. Well, you know what? I think it's recorded. So I can go ahead and send you the recording. Yeah. I would love that. Please do. Yay. Hi, Sophia. Hi. Oh my gosh. You guys look so good. And hey, Liz. Hey. <laughs> that was fun. Thank you. The bandas, yay! That's all right. I'm glad you guys late. were. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I had a hard time getting up this morning. Oh my goodness! I did too, actually. I stepped. No. No. How's that, Liz? Oh no! All right, we're gonna go. Uh, all right, love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Thank you so much, sister. <laughs> Bye, you guys. Oh, Amanda, hey. Uh, <laughs> love you, sister. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll definitely send the recording. You guys, I'll send the recording. Yeah. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> love you. Ciao. Bye, you guys. <laughs> All the king's horses and all the king's horses. Oh, there's Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Yolanda left. Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> How are you doing? I can't get the sound to be very loud. Um, can you okay. hear me? Yeah, we should probably go since Yolanda was recording it. <laughs>
I had the dog licking me, trying to get me to take her out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> nice warm kisses. <laughs> oh good. Um, How are you doing, Jenny? I'm good, but I think it look. It, there's like uh, an icon that says it's recording. So what? I, it's recording. It's recording. Recording? Oh, we're being recorded? Well, it says it's recording, so I think we should probably leave so she doesn't have all this all right. like, stuff. <laughs> Are you in need of help? No, I'm okay. You okay? Yeah. You're going to get through this. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a good yoga session to make you feel powerful, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to see you. I didn't know you were here. Well, I came in late. Ah. Yeah. Oh. I almost didn't do it because I laid awake for several hours last night and I didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, that was me. Huh? Um, same with me. I, I had some trouble sleeping last night. Which is I why I made last night and it kind of wound me up and made my brain not shut off. What? When I lost my hearing aid last night, I was got all wound up. Oh no! But I found it. But it still wound me up after I even after I found it, I just laid in bed and tried to sleep. <laughs> uh, so this know. yoga is very useful. I think it'll help. Yeah, if you can't sleep, um, you can try meditating. Like Melatonin. find a meditation. Like a med no meditation. Oh, meditation. Yeah, I've heard that yeah, that, that can help. help. It's just after midnight, and I'm just hearing dad breathing, and <laughs> we, we have the diffuser going, which is very soothing. So I was relaxed. I just, my brain kept thinking through everything. I just need to get yeah. quiet. <laughs> Yeah, that's you have to try to quiet your mind. That's what's hard. I sometimes just read. That helps me. Yeah, but it's good. I'm feeling good. I hope you are. Yeah, I feel okay. I just stayed up too late last night. I was hanging out with friends on on Zoom. <laughs> what's that? I said I was hanging out with some friends last night on Zoom, so I stayed up too late. Oh, on Zoom? <laughs> yeah. So you're still social distancing. Oh yeah. Yeah. We were just doing it virtually, but I, you know, ended up hanging out for like three hours, which I didn't mean to do. So. Oh, wow. Well, that's therapeutic to see your friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just tired today. <laughs> I'm supposed to work I feel out. better after doing this. I'm glad I did it. I almost didn't want to move. <laughs> yeah. But it's good. I feel good. Well, that's good. Well, I guess I don't know if dad took Allegra out or not. I guess I got to go take her out. If yeah, she I, we should get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> see you, mom. Good to see you. Good to see your face. I didn't know you were here and I'm glad you are. That's good. Take good Love care, you, sweetie. Love you. Bye. <laughs>